Greetings Pilgrims, I'm Doug, this is Camino 2020, a channel series dedicated to my preparations for the Camino de Santiago in Spain, where I hope that I can help you out with some of your decisions as well. Today I want to talk about a discovery that I have made that I'm quite excited about, and that is the Snug Pack Patrol Poncho. <music> When it comes to hiking the Camino, one big concern is weather. Pretty much every day on the Camino, you're going to be spending a significant amount of time outside walking. And so weather is a pretty big deal. Now I have reviewed a couple other rain jackets that you can see elsewhere on this channel. But what I wanted to look into today was the idea of wearing a poncho. Now this is not unusual on the Camino. You often see pictures of people with you know, big bright colored ponchos on, some of them going over the top of their backpacks. And I have to admit that when I first thought of that option, it didn't appeal to me. A typical poncho is basically just a big rectangle of some kind of material with a hole cut in the middle made into a hood. So you throw it over the top, it makes a hood, the sides stick out, your arms stick out of the sides and then it covers the front and the back. Now the good thing about a poncho is that it's incredibly breathable because it doesn't even close up on the sides. Air is just blowing through. Of course, where air is blowing through, water can also blow through. So they're great for ventilation, not so much for heat retention, not so much for protection from the rain. Now one reason that a lot of people say they like the idea of the poncho is that they can flip the back over their backpack creating a rain cover for the backpack and then their body and their pack are both protected in the rain with one piece of gear. I love the simplicity, like the idea, execution, I was never terribly impressed. The poncho would stop above their elbow so that it would only go maybe mid thigh so rain falling straight down is taken care of. But as people are walking along with the poncho over the backpack it's leaving the entire backs of their legs, sometimes even their hips exposed. So it's just not a very good option if you're in any kind of really strong inclement weather. It's just not a good idea to plan your rain gear system around vertical rain and no wind. But there are some downsides to jackets as well. Number one, to put a jacket on, you gotta take your backpack off. Jackets don't go over the backpack. So if I'm walking and I see that it's about to rain, First things first, I gotta take that backpack off, get my jacket out, put the jacket on, zoot it all up, backpack back on, and that can be a pain. Especially if you wait a little bit too long and it starts to rain, you're gonna put the backpack down where? In mud. And if your jacket isn't stowed on the outside of the pack, now you've gotta open it up, exposing the inside to water as well. Another downside to jackets is that if you've got a backpack pressed up against your back, that has pretty much eliminated the possibility of a lot of breathing going on back. So I decided I should exercise due diligence and at least look into the idea of getting a poncho. And what I discovered is that like many things in the world, technology has come a long way. And what I found is that there are manufacturers now making poncho style rain gear that is really much better suited to hikers and even backpackers. In fact, some ponchos have been specifically designed with extra material in the back, such that when it goes over the backpack, the whole thing evens out and still gives you pretty decent coverage. Further, a lot of ponchos now are starting to come with actual sleeves. So some of these ponchos actually end up seeming to be more like really big rain jackets than actual ponchos. But hey, it's about what it does, not what it's called. So I looked at several models and I kind of did pros and cons list. Now the price range on some of these really nice ones got into the triple digits. I wasn't really willing to go that far, especially for a product that typically sells in, in the teens or 20s. But I did want something with very specific features features and what I definitely wanted was a good fitted hood, a zipper so that I could quickly get the thing on and off. I wanted actual sleeves for coverage and I wanted it to be long enough that I had at least a fairly good chance of my main clothing staying dry even if legs and shoes were going to get wet. I can always throw on rain pants if it's a horrible storm um, and otherwise probably just suck it up and deal with it. That's just how ponchos work and it's the same with rain jackets, right? A rain jacket isn't even going to cover your waist most of the time. So those were some of the features I was looking for and what I found to have the best combination of the features I was looking for and good price 
was made by Snug Pack, which is a UK manufacturer that actually supplies the military, and this is called their Patrol Poncho. It had a lot of the features I was looking for. First of all, it has an actual hood with adjustment. It not only has a zipper to get your head through, but they've put this nice flap inside so that even when the zipper is open, you still have protection from the rain. Further, at the front of this one is a pocket. This is very unusual. It's got your kind of hand warmer style sleeve, and then on top, a Velcro enclosure opens to a pretty generously sized map pocket. The Snug Pack has real actual sleeves, and they even come with the thumb hole in the uh, wrist to keep the sleeves from rolling up. The whole thing, 100% waterproof, as verified by the good old backyard hose test. I threw this thing on right out of the bag, just got completely soaked from the side and from the top. The water just beads up on top of the poncho. One flip of the wrist and all the water just comes flying off. Had absolutely no leakage or problem with water whatsoever. I have yet to take it out in an actual storm, but if it performs anything like it did with the hose test, it's going to be great. Now I am 5'10", and when I'm standing perfectly straight, the poncho falls just below my knees. If I use the thumb holes, I can very easily move. I have full range. Putting my arms straight up brings the poncho to just below the pockets in my pants. When my arms are hanging straight down, I do feel a little bit of a tug on the sleeves, so they're a little tiny bit short for me. Uh, this poncho only comes in one size, so uh, if you're not sure if you're going to like it, make sure you get it from a vendor that you can return it. It's just a little bit over 70 in here right now. Uh, this is warm. I can definitely feel it is, it is holding the warmth in. I'm sure if I were doing jumping jacks, I, I would definitely sweat in this. But the nice thing is a couple poops and all the heat blows out. One other interesting feature about this pack is that the back is actually folded in with extra material. And why does it expand? Because it's meant to cover a backpack. So, there's a pack. Throw the poncho back on. And this time it's just gonna go right over the pack. All right, so there it goes. Here is what this looks like on. I still have coverage down to the knees in the front and about to where the bottom of a regular pair of shorts would be in the back. The nice thing is I still have full range of motion with my arms and the pack is completely covered. One tip that I saw somebody give was that if you're walking in kind of sketchy rain and you're not really sure you want to put everything away, if you take the poncho off backwards, it can actually just lay behind you, give you full aeration, but it will still cover the pack. And if it starts to rain again, it starts to get a bit too much, boom, you're on. All right, so let's go over some of the specs. It is 52 and a half inches from the neck to the hem. The sleeve length is about 34 inches, and that is what you're going to get because it is one size fits all. It packs down into a sack that is eight inches by four inches, and it weighs 13 ounces or 360 grams. This retails for about $45, which puts it at the way bottom end of the decent rain jacket category. And the fact that it's got the hood and the sleeves and the zipper and the pockets like a jacket, but the size, functionality, and backpack covering capability of a large poncho may make it the perfect Camino rain gear. All right, I hope that this video has helped you out with your plans for your Camino. If it has, please like the video, subscribe to the channel, and consider clicking that bell notification so that when future videos drop, you will know right away. I'm Doug, this is Camino 2020, Buen Camino. Mm -hmm.